Of all the Chinese car brands that enter the Philippine market, Cherry Auto has the highest mountain to climb. After multiple failed attempts to penetrate the local car industry, Cherry Auto is back for a fourth time, this time offering a lineup of crossovers that are not only affordable, they're pretty well spec as well. But how well will these new Cherry offerings hold up? Can they finally say that fourth time's a charm? Well, in order to get to know more about China's largest vehicle exporter, here are five facts that we need to know about Cherry Auto and Cherry Auto Philippines. This is Reagan's Pit Stop. Let's do this! A lot of Titos of Manila would remember the first time that Cherry Auto first entered the Philippine market back in 2007. Their most popular model was the Cherry QQ, which was marketed as an affordable small city car option. Now, the Cherry QQ was a decent vehicle, but then again, the chances of success of any car maker is heavily dependent on the strength and the expertise of its local distributor. Unfortunately for Cherry back then, its local distributor Iceway didn't have the chops to deliver the proper after-sales service. Iceway eventually had to let go of the brand after a few years, which was then picked up by two other groups, but both of these groups also failed. Now, it's been 14 years since Cherry Auto first entered the Philippine market, so it's now quite curious to see if it finally has what it takes to become a compelling value option in the country. Now, in order to know more about that, well, here are five facts about Cherry Auto and Cherry Auto Philippines. Cherry Auto is now distributed by UAAGI, the same people behind Photon Trucks and United Auctioneers based in Subic. Now, Photon has been in the country since 2007 and is known as the most successful Chinese car brand in the country. Now, before you guys get all riled up, well, do know that Photon has been assembling these trucks in Clark, Pampanga, so kindly hold off on all of those anti-China hate comments. So how do we know if UAAGI is capable of turning Cherry Auto into a local success? Well, we'll just have to take a look at what they've been doing ever since they launched the brand in 2019. The local Cherry lineup is comprised of all Tigo crossover models with a solo halo car in the form of the Cherry Arizo 5 electric vehicle. Now this all crossover lineup shows us that UAAGI did their homework very well because they know that Filipino car buyers are now leaning more towards crossovers nowadays. Now, these Tigo crossovers are fully loaded with tech and features and they're priced quite low enough, very affordable crossovers that even these naysayers are taking a second look. But what about the stigma of poor after-sales service that was left behind by the previous distributors? Well, again, in this regard, UAAGI did their homework. You see, Cherry Auto Philippines now has the longest warranty in the industry, offering 10 years warranty or 1 million kilometers, imagine that, on the engines of their Cherry models. They also offer a 5-year bumper-to-bumper vehicle warranty, and they throw in a free 3-year roadside assistance package and a free 3-year preventive maintenance service package with home service. I mean, my goodness, this kind of warranty and after-sales support is completely unheard of in the local car industry and this shows to us how confident UAAGI is when it comes to the durability of these new Cherry Tigo models. Now, what about the issue of parts availability? Well, UAAGI came out with an announcement that they've stockpiled enough car parts here in the country that they can easily build an entire car with these car parts. So the issue of parts availability, not gonna be a problem. Lastly guys, UAAGI is an ISO certified company which is a testament to the level of their quality management systems. One of the traits that endeared these older cherry cars to the public were their rather cute designs. I'm being sarcastic, guys. In fact, in the early 2000s, 
Cherry Auto has got to be the most sued Chinese car company for copying the designs of other car makers. Well, those days of ugly Cherry cars are long gone because the current lineup of Cherry models is designed by the renowned designer Kevin Rice, the same man behind the BMW 4 Series and is currently the design chief of Pininfarina. Now, Kevin Rice is a Breton, which means he hails from the UK, which explains the heavy European influence in the design of the current Cherry lineup. In fact, I must say, guys, this uh, current uh, Cherry Tigo models, particularly the Tigo 7 Pro and the larger brother, the Cherry Tigo 8 Plus, are absolutely stunning. Most Chinese car makers grew exponentially in China, mainly due to the joint ventures that they've had with giant foreign car makers. Toyota had GAC, Mazda had Chang'an, and Volkswagen had Saic. Now, this was the only way these giant foreign car makers can enter into the Chinese market, and as a result, their local partners grew as well. Now, in 2012, Cherry Auto entered into a technical partnership with Jaguar Land Rover, where Cherry will manufacture Jaguar Land Rover vehicles in China. Now, the Cherry Jaguar Land Rover production plant is capable of making 200,000 vehicles per year. Now, to put that figure in proper perspective, 200,000 vehicles is practically all the vehicles sold in the Philippines in 2020. Now, this technical partnership gave birth to Cherry's T1X platform, a modular crossover platform that allows for maximum cabin space while also optimizing the vehicle's off-road capabilities. Since 2003, Cherry Auto has looked to the export market for vehicle sales. Cherry Auto exports to 80 countries worldwide, including the U.S. U.S. company HAAH builds Vantas cars in America, which are essentially rebadged Cherry vehicles. At the time of this filming, Cherry Auto has exported over 1.7 million vehicles worldwide, mainly due to the fact that they didn't really get any local technical partnership with a foreign car maker back in China early on. Now, this approach to export their vehicles worldwide exposed Cherry to a lot of global trends and advancements, which now leads me to my fifth fact about Cherry Auto. Cherry Auto's outward approach as a vehicle exporter meant that they had to innovate on their own and not rely on a foreign technical partner for know-how. Aside from China, Cherry also has R&D facilities in the US, in Germany, and in Brazil. In fact, their R&D management team doesn't even have a single Chinese executive in it. Now, Cherry Auto also manufactures their own engines and their own transmissions. And in fact, in 2019, Cherry Auto was awarded with the Best CVT Transmission in the Transmission Awards. Now, I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a Transmission Awards or a Transmission Contest in the world. But well, now we know. <laughs> Cherry Auto may have had a rocky pass with the Philippines before, but those days are long gone. This global car company has made great strides in vehicle tech and reliability, and now, with UAAGI as its local distributor, it is poised to become one of the formidable players in the local car industry. The brand has made all the right moves so far, and if they continue on with this track, well, I wouldn't be surprised if they will soon become one of the countries major players. Anyway, thanks for watching.